one second to that point to that point pawan varma you been you been a you been a you been a bureaucrat salwan khurshid says i will not bring myself down to that level i mean what does he mean is he a slave is he a is slave of the minister is is, is, is a, a bureaucrat supposed to be is a cog a in the wheel arnab arnab i agree with mr subramaniam I, i i hold no truck for any minister who says that a bureaucrat works for a political party while in service no no so no he says i will not bring myself down to his level what does he mean by that i can't answer for salman khurshid okay Kursi. there's no defense the on that books. yes second point point number 2 he is he is he is anti he is anti democratic uh, 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 he is anti no, uh, point number 2 point number 2 arnab arnab this is the arnab this is the age of transparency i think we should now welcome people coming out and making statements people should write their memoirs we have had too much of closed door kind of activity in government more should come out number 2 a broad point third point i think there's a structural weakness here people should not my friend hardeep will forgive me people should not be allowed to join political parties within months there should be a one or two years cooling off period i, I, I had two years exactly exact. okay okay, okay fair, fair enough fair enough we, 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 we have had kohli joining after cec that was an abom- abominable kind of situation he became an mp within two years we should have that to, to that extent i see not an impropriety i see a delicacy in the point that he has made and last point made by kiran who may respect very much look in every state 50 times a day chief ministers order tehsildar transfer uh, they order sps transfer they order darogas transfer every day sadly the disease has come to government of india also whatever happens in bihar and up comes within 10 years to government of india we are now suppose the secretary uh, interferes with that and tries to put his foot down he will be killed the next day his head will be chopped off he will go out immediately to some outlying agency so here i think the issues are very very clear i think the i agree i agree came later 50 times a day 50 times a day the minister tries to help businessmen in fact i think here one businessman ipl scam this happens repeatedly you see one second you see i think mr chidambaram himself admitted mr chidambaram himself talked about political interference in police transfers and postings in september 2009 i remember his comment where he said it is a matter of deep regret kiran bhai you remember that where he said it is a matter of deep regret that police officers yeah. have been reduced to football to be kicked here and there from one post to the other and he spoke about the damage that was done from that now it is alleged that his own cabinet colleague kiran bedi was sending written chits to a commissioner saying post this sho here post this sho there now obviously the good officers get kicked around because the corrupt officers use their political connections or give bribes to get posted in lucrative postings now i think mr chidambaram should come forward shouldn't he kiran bedi and say i want this matter investigated in detail because it more or less corroborates what i myself said in september 09 kiran bedi mr singh has very clearly in fact given you evidence he's mentioned the police commissioner because the chit is linked with police commissioner and he's brought these matters to the notice of the prime minister and the chief and the cabinet secretary why should we not inquire into so that we really know the truth of the matter so that without being judgmental ourselves let us know the truth in the next one week let the police commissioner accept or but deny. you see the close the inquiry miss bedi miss bedi they are brushing this under the carpet miss bedi they want this matter brushed under the carpet i mean in, in the united states of america if the secretary of state was accused by the deputy national security advisor of having any links of protecting a businessman close to osama bin laden and i am putting a direct link here would that secretary of state have have avoided the cameras for one week and have had his own party in this case ami agnik comes out in defense of such a decision such lack of transparency ami agnik such a cover up so blatant yes. Three yes, months I, before I, I an election. I am not coming. No, no. Three months I before an election. I am not coming to. I am not coming to his defence. I am putting the clear picture before this before the viewers. What, what picture? Look at the conduct of R K Singh at that time, and look at the conduct now. Why you have come at such But a belated stage? But the conduct, the conduct of R K Singh is not the subject. The conduct of R K Singh is not the subject no, 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 of this minute. discussion. Let me. 
Let me please come please. No, no, Ardhi Puri, Ardhi Puri. Ardhi Puri, come in Ardhi Puri. You know, you have to respect you know, you know, the constitution. You know, Ardhi Puri, you know, I, Ardhi Puri. The, 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 the,
with such an unresolved charge, Mr. Ms. Kiran Bedi, do you support an Open Truth Commission nationally televised on a charge as important as this? Kiran Bedi, are you in favour of it? And TSR Subramaniam, are you in favour of it? No, I'm not in favour of a public spectacle. Because there are reputations of people involved and we must be sensitive to people's reputations. But the fact is that Mr. Singh is making allegations. He's been a Home Secretary. These are matters of national security. Therefore, we need to have a dignified inquiry as soon as possible so that corrective measures are taken. Home Secretary is is guardian of the constitution sir this he is, is responsible this is a, to this enforce is the, the law as for the constitution ma'am ma'am this is not a but i'm see, not for public spectacle no 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 miss miss kiran bedi you know a few months back i said that the country would be embarrassed of a home minister who attends a bollywood function at a time when serious incidents affecting internal security happen but this is not about that this is about allegedly allegedly protecting a businessman close to daud ibrahim this is about directly interfering allegedly in transfers and postings this is about lying about the american help in nabbing daud ibrahim this is a grave and, and matter. A, and, and a man and a man who's responsible for large scale physical destruction in the city of Bombay Absolutely. and then has been a absconder. First he was in Dubai, now he is in Pakistan, given protection by the ISI. And this is the kind of person whose intermediary you want to deal with? What and kind of I national security uh, apparatus are we running? Absolutely. And, and TSR Subramaniam, I'm coming to you, Devang, with Arnab, two questions. Arnab, TSR Arnab, Arnab, Subramaniam. Arnab, 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 Mr. Arnab, Subramaniam first. Devang, just a minute. Arnab, I'm coming to both Arnab, of you. Arnab, TSR. He's a man, he's a man <laughs> who has written letters. Uh, Arnab, uh, Arnab, uh, Arnab, Arnab, I think, I think enough has emerged now for the country to know what has happened, at least in broad contours. Three things or two things I wish to mention. I think contemporary information, people on outsider like me knew that things were not well in the Home Ministry. We knew very well at that time that the then Home Secretary had problems. We knew that he had contacted at least the Principal Secretary and the Cabinet Secretary and NSA. given his own version and the NSA to give problems. We knew even at that time, number one. I don't know how strong the connection of with Daoud Ibrahim emerged at that time. Now that it has emerged, it is important, a uh, credible inquiry, not an in-house in inquiry. A credible inquiry should come out and people should know what is happening. And don't turn the accuser into the accused. Yes, in investigate his role, but don't turn him into, the, into an accused. You know, this is, a, I'm just placing on record, I have nothing personal about Mr. Shinde, but for the record, Mr. Shinde is the person who said, I can't take responsibility if a whole power grid of this country collapses. Shinde is a person who has on record says the coal scam is just going to be forgotten. Shinde compared those who were protesting at India Gate after this rape, uh, the rape of Nirbhaya in December 25th, he compared them to Maoists. Shinde is a person uh, who has attended Bollywood music festivals in the wake of the Patna terror attacks. You know, Shinde is a person who brushes Jaya Bachchan's interruption in parliament over the Assam violence and says it is not a filmy subject of debate. Shinde is a person who makes the Hindu terror attack remark against the BJP and the RSS. And Shinde is the person who reads out the names of three rape and murder victims in the Bandara case in the Rajya Sabha. In other words, Mr. Sushil Kumar Shinde has been, with the greatest of respect, a walking, talking disaster in his time as a cabinet minister. But this is not about that. This is about these grave allegations which, if true, need to be investigated. Now I have two questions. My first question is to the Congress. My second question will be to the BJP. My question to the Congress. Ms. Ami Agnik, I appreciate the passion with which you are defending Sushil Kumar Shinde. And I also noted that on four occasions you said, what is the credibility of R.K. Singh? Do you stand by what you just said 10 minutes back first? Do you stand by what you just said?